Violence rages on in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian army is continuing its offensive against pro-Russian gunmen on the outskirts of the rest of city of Slavyansk. The fighting has forced many civilians to seek refuge in makeshift underground shelters. Press TV's Johnny Miller reports from Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian army helicopters bombing suburbs of Slavyansk. While President Obama and Ukraine's president-elect Petro Poroshenko meet in Poland, attacks against pro-Russian militias are intensifying. As you know, there is a war going on here. This war is turning into genocide. There's severe fighting around Slovyansk. Heavy artillery is being used. We are running out of medicine. We already don't have enough food. We have a lot of sick, old and retired people. There are sick children. The last checkpoint before the fighting, run by the People's Republic of Donetsk. Beyond this, the Ukrainian army won't let anyone pass. The town of Slavyansk is about four or five kilometers down that road. A few days ago, we were able to get there but not anymore. Why? Because there's heavy fighting almost every day as the Ukrainian army mounts what it says is an anti-terror operation. The fighters cover their faces because they are scared for the safety of their relatives in the west of the country. We are on our own land. This is why we're winning. The only thing I'm sad about is our civilians, who are being attacked by forbidden bombs. These fighters are local from Donetsk, although volunteers from Russia are now crossing the border to reinforce their cause. A civil war may be beginning, but many fear that it is foreign powers who are pulling the strings. The Kyiv government has received an order from the United States. They want to bring NATO here. The U.S. wants to fight Russia. This is why they provoke us. They call us terrorists and separatists, because we don't want to live with them. We don't need Europe. Back in Donetsk, civilians pray for peace. Like most people here, they believe anything is better than war. But as both sides reinforce their positions backed by global powers, it looks like their prayers will not be answered. Johnny Miller, Press TV, Eastern Ukraine.